Hey everyone, welcome to Pop XP. And before the show starts, make sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications when we go live and we upload awesome new content. And don't forget, if you can, make sure to share our stream on all your social media outlets. We appreciate it, and thanks for helping us grow the Pop XP channel. Hey everybody, Billy Tucci here. How is everyone doing today? Um, just uh, doing I finishing up our She Haikyo rough cut cover, one of my favorite editions because it really shows the raw um, the raw proof of the comic, if you will. I guess you'll have my 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 really raw pencils. You'll have Mindy Lopkins, uh, you know Stephen Peros's uh, script. Um, and also Mindy Lopkins first go around the lettering and, uh, here's our little Anna. So here's the cover and, uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Let me go into the comments, say hello to everybody. And then I'll go to Facebook and check it out. But in the meantime, I'm going to play some copyright free music. This is Will Jam and Zandra Woodlands. So let's play that. There you go. Have a little bit of copyright free music. Hello, Brenda. How are you today? I am the teen sensation, Bill Tucci, Hyper Kaiju. Good to see you. Bernie Online. Hello from Ecuador. Ah, hello. Bet your weather's uh, a lot nicer down uh, in Ecuador than it is up here in New York. I don't know if my... It's coming through a little too loud. Let me lower it a little bit. But I figure something a little nice. A little nice for us to, to relax. Having stressing days. Um, Deborah is here with my niece, Emily. And they're downstairs. Uh, you guys see my house. It looks like Indiegogo threw up all over our house, as Debbie says, and Kickstarter. But Debbie will is right now as Debbie is fulfilling um, the Child is Born comic. Uh, I signed a bunch of those, did some remarks. Oh, let me load out a little bit more. Oh, this is nice music, isn't it? Isn't this nice? Bounty Hunter. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Bounty Hunter for the UK. Hello. Hell, Britannia. Good to see you. Yes, Dr. Crowley. Hell, how are you, Victor? Victor, good to see you. Um, what does it say? Uh, this isn't going to break down into the musical eating live stream like Ethan is it? No, <laughs> I'm not as musical as Ethan is. Brenda, my favorite. How are you? Of course, it's great to see you. And yes, Hyper Kaiju, I am the teen sensation Bill Tucci. So, um, I know we also stream live on Facebook, but let me go into that and say hello to our friends over there. So we had a big day last night, huge um, Cyber Monday. Thank you, everyone, who purchased our our first ever she, she um, cosplay, uh, what is it? She cosplay lithograph, um, of course, uh, modeled by the, the amazing Joni Brosis, who was on our show last night on the Pop XP. And uh, just a lot of fun. And we've now crossed, I think we're, we're, close, we're, we're over $61,000. Our $65,000 stretch goal will be our first ever cosplay trading card. And that's a free stretch goal. We're also, I think we're going to be doing a Debbie Tucci trading card. And here's a, we posted this yesterday. Here's Deb posing back in, in, in the day for me. <laughs> so I think we're going to do a uh one of our stretch goals maybe we hit seventy five thousand or seventy thousand or eighty i'm not sure but i think it's time for for a debbie tucci trading card uh i have debbie posing for she uh a lot and uh the, it's it's a little bit of history and she looks cute in them she's not very happy it's usually i i ask her to do it you know at like two in the morning or you know 11 o'clock at night when she's ready for bed or something or if she just got home from work i'm like honey change i need you to pose for me right now <laughs> and uh and it, but she was oh, ever the trooper she was so uh i think i think we'll we'll immortalize her in a trading card because i have hundreds of pictures of her uh from when we were in our man from college i have pictures of her from you know when you know we're 19 years old well i'm not she's tw she, i was 20 she's 19 yes deb needs to be on a card see brenda how fun would that be uh, yes, Dr. Crowley, thank you. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty cover. I love doing the rough cut editions. Um, I, I just I just love the, the, the comic in its rawest form, and that's what we call it, raw, rough cut. Um, uh, and um, 
uh, let me think. Just enjoying this music. Um, yeah, so uh, this, this, and this will debut. We're going to send it to Sigmund, the colorist. He'll get this this evening, and hopefully he'll be able to color it up tomorrow. It's going to be, it's going to have the Haikyo logo back here. And that'll and and the logo will be in like black and in, in, in like a blue like a blue line. But I want to keep the crusade paper line. If you see this our original crusade artboard, I'd like to keep that. And um, I'd love to. And then she'll be in color. Anna will be in color, so it'll be nice. I think she came out really pretty in this. And also the fun thing about the rough cut is that the you know the cover itself doesn't have to have, to have anything to do with the comic. It's just something fun to do. And. Uh, one of the, one of the the joys. Everything's work, you know, with comics. Uh, believe it or not, it is a it's it's a lot of fun. It's 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 a, a privilege to be able to make a career out of it, and for me to be able to do it for twenty six years now, more than twenty six years, it, it's it's really a dream job come true. But the um, <clears throat> let me put back the reference to the up. Oh, okay, we, we'll do that later on. Um, but we have tonight on the Pop XP at 9 p.m. to 10, we have Stephen Peros and Barry Orkin uh, as Steve launches um, uh, Stoker and Wells, Order of the Golden Dawn on Indiegogo. That's going to be his little launch party. And then after that at 10 p.m., we have the, the legendary Michael Davis uh, who will be on. And Michael is amazing. And we might even have some special guest stars because he knows a lot of really cool people. I mean, hell, this is the guy who's pre who – who President Barack Obama follows him on Twitter. And I got to say something about Michael. And I met Michael in, in 94. So he was still doing the, the the milestone stuff. And then he moved to Motown and ran Motown Media, I think in 96, because I think we were in for two years. But he, every year in San Diego, he comes by the, the, the booth. He's always busy. He's always got a million things to do. But he always finds time to say hi to me and Deb. And uh, he was one of the first people we met back in 94. And he introduced me. To geez, you know, Dwayne McDuffie and Dennis Cowan, and the the cool thing is that they all these giant guys are all these big, massive, six foot two or more tall guys, and uh, but they were just so cool to us and very very nice and and um, and you know they they were also some of the comic pros that accepted us into the into the fold because we didn't know anybody at San Diego. I knew Buzz because I met Buzz at my first store signing, and I. And Brian Polito. I knew Brian Polito because Brian, uh, I had met in 93 the year before, and Brian actually was the one who offered me my first work. And it was a pinup, which later became a, a in the Lady That Swimsuit issue. And I think I, I think I might have been one of the first people to be offered the job because mine wasn't a pinup. She almost looks like she's in a mermaid costume. And I wonder if that's because uh, I think I might have been one of the first artists um, – contracted to do it and then i remember he sent me a, a check and i'm like that's right and i don't think i ever cashed it uh, i'm sure i have it still somewhere but i don't think i cashed a check uh because you know it's brian Polito, goodness sakes it's a privilege to draw lady death now this angle's a little off it makes her head look a little bit in her body it's more probably like but i can't really get the 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 angle of the that doesn't really match and then it, when I try to make it match, it falls down. But you get the idea. This is kind of how she is. And uh, look at it now. Oh, she's cute. She's coming out nice. Someday I'll afford one of your cousins. Oh, Mogwai Centurion, good to see you, my friend. Someday. Well, I hope you can someday. So uh, uh, thank you. It's, it's, it's a pleasure to do this work. Can you guys hear my music? Can you hear my new age music right now? Yes, all hail the teen sensation, indeed. And all should hail the teeth sensation. What's up? A whole bunch, man. Um, gaming or what, Tim? We've been, uh, I've been drawing, uh, we're preparing for the Pop XP. I sent out a bunch of, uh, a, a bunch of uh, updates today, prepping for our uh, Indiegogo campaign, because the book will be going on Indiegogo. I think we're launching next week. Um, and uh, let's see. Because I think it's just our lot in life to be where are those people that will do both, whether Deborah likes it or not. But she said, as she said, we'll suck it up because we've got a lot. We've had we had over a thousand backers on Indiegogo and and I'm learning that and they're letting us know that. Yeah, we'll wait. We only I only like to, to buy an Indiegogo or I only like to buy on on uh, Kickstarter. But um, I'm sorry, we had over a thousand backers on it on Kickstarter. So we're going to be launching on Kickstarter again with this book. 
probably next week. Stay tuned. We'll be sending updates to everyone, to all you Kickstarter backers. Oh, you can't hear it, Brenda? All right, all right. Look how nice that is. Can you guys hear it now? Hey, hey, Candace. Heroinberg, my brother, how are you? All right. Michael Davis is at 10 p.m. He's not at 9 p.m. tonight. He's at 10 p.m. So Michael Davis at 10. Stephen Peros and Barry Orkin are at 9 p.m. Big, busy shows today. We had a massive storm here last night, guys. Yes, all day yesterday. And it blew all my all my beautiful Christmas decorations, except for my wreaths. With I, I hooked and screwed in my wreaths into the house because I painted the house. And uh, if I told you I touched up the whole house, which basically means painting lots of sides, you know, a couple of sides of it, all the base of it. And uh, the wreaths actually swing back and forth, back and forth. So imagine this is a, the, the wreath. Uh, when the, it's it's on a, a fishing line, I have it hanging from the window. And when the when the wind blows, it goes like that. It scrapes all against the paint and really scraped up my paint. So I had to get in there uh, early, last month, and I sanded and I scraped, and uh, then I had to re uh, prime it. And then after I primed it, I painted it all over again. And I didn't want the the paint to get messed up this time, so I basically just uh, I, I drilled in the the wreaths. And they stood the time, but we have di um, dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Actually, dinosaurs would be really cool. We have reindeer, like those decorative light-up reindeer on the front lawn, and they blew over my mailbox, and and stuff came off the off the walls and all this. So lights, you know, lights we have. You know, I light up the house with spotlights. They all came up uh, flying, so I had to take it all down, and I was just too busy today to put it back up, but I'll do that tomorrow. I'll put it all back up tomorrow. And uh, again, for those of you who ordered Indiegogo, um, for those of you guys who ordered Indiegogo and in the last, the campaign, when the campaign ended a few weeks ago, uh, Debbie thinks she's going to have all the November orders out. So all of you guys, all your orders should be out uh, tomorrow for Indiegogo. And we want to thank you for Return of the Warrior. We closed the campaign uh, on Indiegogo. It was over $130,000. Uh, that coupled with the Kickstarter campaign, our no fan left behind totals were over $201,000. And uh, speaking of that, now she, I'm going to share the screen. I'm going to pause my new age music. Where is that? Which is really groovy, by the way. There you go. I'm going to pause this for a second. There you go. So I pause the music because I want to share. Actually, I don't have to. I'm not going to play my video, so I don't have to. Let's play the music. I'm going to share uh, my campaign right now. So if anyone has not pledged, and if you can, please do. If you've not, if you've not pledged and you can't or you have pledged, please share it. Let me just move this up. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to share the campaign. Do, do, do. She hike here. There you go. There's our campaign. So we were over sixty thousand dollars nine. I think actually we're more than this now. This was this morning or something, or or last night, late last night. So I'm gonna refresh it live and see if if it works. Oh yeah, oh yeah, boy, wow. Yes, yeah, so we're over sixty one thousand two hundred sixty six. Thank you, everybody. We are now on our way to our. So we've unlocked three stretch goals already. The first stretch goal was to expand the book. That was our $50,000 stretch goal to expand the book from uh, 52 pages to 56 pages. And then we, uh, then our second uh, stretch goal was the, uh, our, was it 55,000 was our um, Heikyo um, right here, our gold metallic trading card. Uh, so we, we, you guys, we unlocked that. So all you guys get that everyone who pledged on it for a physical reward. Uh, and now, and then our third tattoo, our third thing was for 60,000 was our first ever she temporary tattoo, which is really cool. I think. And that, um, you guys unlocked that boom. Uh, and then now our new one is our Joe, Jody bro, Joni Brosis cosplay trading card. So if we hit 65,000, we're, we're what over 30, we're, we're a little over 30, 30, $3,700 away from unlocking that. But I have no, I have no doubt that we'll lock that. And then of course our, our, our cyber Monday special right here was the Joni Brosis print, which will be signed by uh, me and Joni 
now Scala did some great Photoshop work in the back to give it a nice ethereal look. Uh, and then, of course, here's our Black Friday uh, special, which is the uh, Haikyo uh, Sakura cover, Sakura Moon cover, and I do a remark in it. And I draw a, a nice little custom drawing in each one of them, both 11 by 17. And, of course, here's our great creative team on Haikyo um, with Debbie taking it up. And uh, just said this is the cover to our hard cover, our glow in a dark cover, which I love. And then we have lots of cool stuff. We've got the mystery bags. We have uh, there's our, our standard, you know, Sakura cover right there. Um, our soft cover. There's our Joni Brosis cosplay cover, our first ever cosplay cover. If you look over here, you'll see our uh, sketch edition. So if anybody wants a sketch edition, you get that. And then here's Brian Miller's astonishing colors. Just a just a fun book, Connie Valentina edition. Look how beautiful that is. And Connie drew that, unbelievable. So there's the book. Now, somebody pointed out that Brian le left out her lipstick on the bottom of this panel right here, and I like the way that looks actually. Oh, I got the Michael Davis banner on. Let me let me fix the brand. Let me go to the background and put up uh, like a she background. As much as I like Michael Davis, is not his show today. This is my show. Yeah. Yeah, get some. Where is it? Video clips, background. See if there's a new she one. Nope. Ah, how about that one? That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Isn't that nice? I'll go to Pop XP. There you go. And here's me drawing on the side. So uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, please share. Please pledge to the campaign. We want to break $65,000. And as everyone knows, once you break 65, then it's every. it seems like you're on your way to six figures. And that is our goal, of course, uh, for the campaign. But this is going to be a short campaign. Right now, the book is slated to, to be released in April. Our goal is to fulfill this campaign in February. Get this book to the printer in January. Uh, get it printed in January. And we fulfill the month of February. And, um, yeah, that's it. I think it's looking so good. I just love she and her armor. Um, just... Just having fun with it, man. Just uh, I got two commissions left. Our first commission sold out. Uh, GZ Lee, uh, thank you very much. He got the likeness to be a doc to be a character, and he is Doctor Lee, and his likeness will be in the book. His Gardenio's Lima's amazing uh, back cover, and I wanted Gardenio's cover to be. This is what he did all on his own. I wanted to be the back cover because I wanted on the on every issue because our back our our variant covers are are pretty pretty uh pretty exclusive not exclusive they're not highly ordered there's maybe a, a hundred of them sold maybe 200 which makes them cool and rare but i wanted to get gardino more exposure because he's such a valuable member of the team and um i just think he did an amazing job on that cover and fred morhan did the morrow did the uh cover and uh, colors and he just did a beautiful job just gorgeous so uh that's that so i'll stop sharing the screen so, all right, so let's draw. Now, I, it, the weird thing is, is I have this. I can move this. Oops. The thing is, I want to show more of the figure, and I. But the problem is, this 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 camera is digging right in my face. So, okay, here we go. So, uh, the ducks, Candace. Well, okay, Candace. You know the duck stick is always here. I think we're not going to do a duck stick card. And I can tell that this is fast becoming your favorite, too. And Brenda's favorite, the duck stick. Look at that. It terrifies Joni. Look how gorgeous that is. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So the duck stick is, um, I think we're going to do a duck sticker. I think that's going to be, get it, you know, duck sticker. I think that's going to be the stretch goal is a duck sticker. Debbie is adamantly against it. Um, because she doesn't think anybody cares. And, you know, how little does she know? She knows nothing of the, of the power of the duck stick. So, okay, what do we got here, uh, Joe? The trading card, the, the, oh, it, the trading card is the cover image, Mighty Joe. I hope that's okay, and I hope that's what you prefer, because I like it. My kids lost their minds when they came on, when he came on the screen. <laughs> ah! Look how awesome that is. Your kids got to love the duck stick. Hell, everyone loves the duck stick. Hashtag save the duck stick. 
thing is I got to repair him because his collar came down a little bit. So I got to basically match where this, <laughs> this resin is. I don't know what the hell it is. And match it up so I could push the duct stick. Oh, we're going to have a duct stick repair. We'll make a whole duct stick repair video because I got to match it. This could be it right there. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to, we'll have to, we'll have to see about that. Not great. Look at the duck stick. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, Nicholas, we'll see you later, my friend. Thank you. I'm good with the duck sticker. Duck stick sticker. I'll put on. Thank you. I'll put on your hot. See? Excellent. Excellent idea. Because ducks like, you know, ducks like water and ducks will keep you hydrated. So you're going to have to tell Deborah that you are okay with the duck stick. <laughs> Brenda. Um, let me go to Facebook because I think people are on Facebook. Here we go. Yes. Go on my page. All right. For some reason, guys, I don't, the comments don't show up. For Dolan, good to see you, my friend. Peter Culp, good to see you. Bruh. What's up, Kiki? Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to be drawing every day. I have to do another cover, and then I, I've been doing some co uh, commissions. And I've got a few more commissions to finish up, but I'll be doing the commissions live as well. And uh, I'll definitely be doing that. I've got to do Shane's. i got to finish Shane's commissions. I have to do oh, a bunch of them. i got to do some sketch covers from San Diego last year. Not this year. San Diego last year I owe them. Um, that's why we're going to start to – the big commissions are pretty much – only take through the campaigns because I'm like, they, you know, I'm like, I, I want to take this home. And then it takes me a year to do them. And I feel awful, but they're usually really high end commissions. They're not just hundred dollar headshots or something that, you know, some people, these people, you know, people are getting 700, 800, nine, a thousand dollar commissions. And you get really nervous and you want to just do the best because you want to give someone a cover quality commission. And you can only, you know, you can only do that at home or in your studio because you really can't do it anywhere else. Uh, or because then it just won't come out as, as well as it as it should and as well as the people who buy it deserve. So uh, I'll be doing I'll be streaming every day with, with drawing. Um, and starting tomorrow, I'll be working on another cover. And actually, that's going to be a Joni Brosis inspired cover because Joni took a picture. I'm like, I love this picture. I want to use it as the inspiration for a cover. And she's like, OK. So that was nice of her. Set up. And a good way to, to to do something is just to wisp it out, make it like a a, a round hair. That's what you do when you mess up. So that, that send that hair a flying because that's you, that's what hair does. It, it it goes a flying. Oh, thank you, Peter. Peter says I draw the greatest. Hit. Well, thank you. You are you're a mensch, Peter. A mensch. So I hope everyone is doing well out there. Um, duck stick action figure. You guys see that? Oh my God, Lloyd. My goodness, Lloyd. My goodness. A duck stick action figure. But the thing is, a duck stick doesn't have legs or anything. He's just a duck stick. So it's just basically a stick. But I think that's a brilliant idea. Candace thinks it's a brilliant idea. It's an instant classic. Oh, God. Yeah. You send me a, um, a Mighty Joe. Send me a, a self-addressed stamped envelope. You know, and a card or something that you want signed, whatever you put, if you're putting on, you know, index cards or something, send it to me and I'll, and I'll just send it to you and I'll, I'll, I'll sign it and send it back to you because I just am not taking any commissions uh, until I get caught up with all of mine, which won't be probably to January because even, you know, you know so I'll, I'll, I'm going to take a small break, but it later on this month, I have to start drawing the next she, um, original graphic novel, which is called She Gatekeeper, which will be uh, written by my pal, J.C. Vaughn. 
and illustrated by me. And uh, that is going to be a May release because we have our March release is going to be our omnibus edition. So, uh, and that's 464 pages. And uh, that comes next. That's our next campaign. So, uh, so yeah. So I'm just sitting draw a little bit. You guys have some questions. Give me a second to catch up and look, but I got to get drawing. And then in an hour, we have an American Legion. I have our officers meeting, so I have to do a Zoom call. So I'll go till I'll go till five. Got another another half hour or so. If anyone has questions, please just ask them. And um, now, now look at this. What is this, Victoria? You see why the? Come on, Victoria. And that's pretty cool, Victoria. Were you in a comic? Were you? Is this from a comic book? Because that looks just like you. That would be awesome if it is. That's cool. <laughs> we can make it happen. The ducks. I love the idea of the ducks like action figure. I think we're gonna have to make that happen. I think there's a chance for us to make that happen in the she omnibus edition, actually, as as one of the perks. And it could be a sheet, a duck stick action figure. We just got to, I'll talk to Ethan. We're going to have to figure out how many um, you need to make. Because, you know, it's not like a she action figure. It's a duck stick. You guys hear my music? Let me see some other music. Let's see. I want a jazz. Copy, copyright free jazz. Let's see if we can find that. I'm going to try to find copyright free jazz. Jazz in Boston Nova, but I don't know if I can. No copyright coffee house jazz. Here you go. Let's just some jazz. That's what I'm talking about. That is what. Oh, geez, now I want a glass of scotch. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this on Friday night. So we should be, hopefully, again, our house looks like a bomb hit it right now. It, we've got boxes everywhere, um, comic, you know, bubble wrap boxes, bubble wrap, uh, brown paper for packing, styrofoam for packing. Um, comic books, prints, uh, mylar protective sleeves, bags, boards, you know, and then of course all the stuff, stickers, um, you know, all the stretch goals packed around or mystery bags, all kinds of stuff is, is, uh, is all in my kitchen, in our foyer and in our living room. And it's just making the, the place is just a mess. So hopefully on Friday we can clean that. And if we can... Then maybe I'll get a bottle of wine and light the fire and have uh, Debbie sit by the fire. Just let her listen to this so she can relax and chill out for a little bit. Mighty Joe, yes. I'm going to put it right here, Mighty Joe. There you go. Favorite character to draw. Oh yeah. Um I I oh man, dude, Dr. Crowley, I would love to do uh, a Cyber Frog crossover cover with Ethan. Um I would I heck I'd love to do a Rainbow Brute one. That would be fun. Um who do I love to draw though? Man, you know, I love drawing Miss Fury. I love drawing Sergeant Rock. I love drawing the Rocketeer. Those are probably my favorite characters I like to draw that aren't my own. Is that too loud, guys? I wonder if there's copyright Christmas music. What do you think of that? Let's see if there's that. 
Because this is pretty great, but why not listen to some Christmas music? Now, you know what? I'm going to keep it the jazz, and we'll go with the Christmas music um, next week when we're closer to Christmas. Thank you, Candice. We will make it happen. So we're going to load this book up, the She um, uh, Haikyo uh, Rough Cut Edition, on Thursday. After I get this down, I'm going to spray her and uh, spray with workable fixative, and then I'll go back in. But I like, you know, here's basically the full figure. She's kind of walking towards you. Uh, we'll work on all that. Cover my subwoofer there. Can you guys hear that music? And is it sound well? Sound good? My favorite books: Secrets of the Samurai. Great book. It's like a creative bible for me. Love this music. Ain't it? Sounds great. Really is great.
look at this. Okay, I'm gonna go spray this real quick. Give me a second. See, I'm gonna show you my rough that's underneath it. So what I did is I started drawing it first like this. So this is the first one I started drawing. And I liked the face, but then I was erasing it and I did something to it. So here was the original. Let's see her legs are legs are a little skinnier. And then I put it on a light box, and then this came out. So I started doing that. So, fun stuff. Cabron, what's up? My my bro, James Sanchez, is on, which is in the hissy. What's happening, brother? Okay, I just want to clean up the things that I know I'm not going to use. This is going to be a kanji back here. I think I'm going to put the, the haikyo kanji here. Or the, you know, the she kanji here and the haikyo kanji down here. All right, I'll be right back. Let's enjoy some jazz for a second. For a second, here she is. Spray, let's let that cure for a second. I'll be right back. I'm back. <laughs> All right. So I'm looking at my phone here, and this is where I hunt. And I have a trail. I have trail cameras set up. No, I'm not okay. And you can see the deer that are on my trail camera. It actually blings in real time. So no deer have been there since six nineteen in the morning. I just ran up the stairs. But, and they all, they've been coming out at night. There's a little buck, see? And, and there's a bigger buck, look at that. That's a shooter for sure. We're gonna take him out. I don't know if this side's defective or he got wounded, but 
Let's take him out of the gene pool. Right, Bohun. And there's a monster, if you guys want to see the slob I've been after. So here's the story of your life. So I have a scent drag. I put a scent drag out, which is like a Doe and Estrus drag. And I'll show you what bow hunting is. <laughs> here's me walking out, right? There's me walking out of my tree stand at, because it gets dark. At four, quarter to five, it gets dark. So here's me, 459. On the 29th, I guess that was Sunday, right? So there's me just walking away. So there's me walking out. And look what happens. 528. 28 minutes later, a doe and her fawn comes, right? They come by. And then look at this. Look at this monster buck. <laughs> Crazy. So well, that's bow hunting for you. So... Hopefully they'll start with the weather change with the full, it's like a full moon now. Hopefully next week they'll be out earlier in the day. So, oh, Dr. Crowley, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I sprayed, I sprayed it with workable fixative, Mighty Joe. So if you're asking, oh, wait a minute. Bill, I received my She Return, She the Return of the Warrior perks in the mail, but not the actual book. So will you mail Baz? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, buddy? Um, Baz, will you, uh, just ship like your rewards, like, like the, the stretch goal rewards and not the comic. I'll see if Debbie is watching. I'll see if Debbie's watching and she can jump on, on that. Yeah. Call Deborah. Shoot, man. We'll take care of that. I'm sorry, buddy. That doesn't make sorry, any sense. I didn't oh. catch that. Try tapping it. Call Deborah. Did you mean Deborah mobile? Yes. Yes. Calling Deborah mobile. I won't say your name, Baz. Live. Hey, honey. Uh, we have um, I'll t and I'll tell you who he is. You know, he's a friend of ours. Um, he received his rewards, but he didn't get. The book itself. Like, I think we just shipped him stretch goal rewards. Uh, um, if you go in, uh, if you look up um, Baz, it's, I don't know, James. Uh, um, let me see if I can mute myself and say his name. But if, you know what, dude? Send us an email, all right? We'll take care of it. Thanks. It's under his girlfriend's account. Okay, great. Under uh, Jet Sable. Like Jet, Sa like Jet Sable. She's going to check it right now, buddy. Yeah, you got your stretch goals, but not your book, right? Yeah, no comic. No comic, he said. I know it's bizarre. It's probably Emily's fault, my niece. No, it's not Emily's fault. I know. I, I have you on speakerphone right now. Listen to some really good jazz that you and I are going to listen to Friday night after we clean the house. Okay? Okay. No, 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 no doxing. Hang on. What, say your name again. Okay. Did what? Did, what did she order? In Florida? Are you guys in Florida? Hang on. Easy to find out. But it's like Jet Sable. Yeah. Oh, she's looking. Okay. What? What did they order? Yep. Oh, it was a print you guys ordered. Did you get a print? He said you. She said you ordered a print. All right. He said you guys didn't order a book. You ordered a print. All right. We'll take care. We'll take care of it with you off the air. All right. Thanks, honey. Bye. Sorry, man. Sorry about that. Thank you, Nefarious. And I love doing these covers going directly, you know, to, to do all this extra shading with the pencils and then going um, directly to color. I just love it. Gives this, when it gets colored, it gives this really cool watercolor effect. There's my little B. Okay, let me take that off now. <laughs> Miami, yeah, all right, buddy. We'll take care of it. Yes, Debbie said, let me let me close this out. 
Debbie said you guys ordered, you ordered a print and not a comic. Please let me know you got your comic. I mean, let me know you got your print. <laughs> I, I know, right? <laughs> you got it, buddy. Send, it, send, send an email. We'll take care of it, pal. All right. I find it amazing that after all these years, I've actually learned to be able to do kind of to draw blades and have, you know, sort of uh, not have to use circle templates. You, you draw a Naginata blade long enough, you kind of don't need, um, you know, templates to, to, to do it. You kind of learn to do it. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's go to the campaign real quick. Let's see how the campaign's doing, all right? Now that's customer service. <laughs> let's share the campaign. Okay, here's our she high kill campaign again, everybody. Here we are. It is now. Um, we are a one week and three days into the campaign, and we are over sixty-one thousand. $266. I want to thank everybody. We're closing in on that fit sick on that $65,000 stretch goal, which will be our very first cosplay trading card. And then after that, we'll, we have a $70,000 stretch goal after the 70, we'll do 75. Um, and who knows, maybe we'll do 80, 85 like that. We, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out. But, uh, one thing we will be doing whether Debbie likes it or not is the Debbie Tucci trading card. <laughs> I think that'll be a fun stretch goal. Um, so let's see the campaign. I'm going to refresh the campaign real quick and let's see uh, how we're doing. Whoa. Well, we, oh my gosh, we went over a thousand bucks. Oh, whomever did that. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think I know who did it. I think because, uh, let me see. Let me text Deb. Oh, I, I don't know if you're listening. Thank you so much for doing that. Wow. All right. So we are totally closing in on the $65,000 stretch goal. James Sanchez needs that, that card. Yes, you do, buddy. Yes, you do. Uh, Nefarious, let me go up here. Quick question. I know she had a lot of crossovers in the 90s and 2000s with Image and Marvel. Do you have one favorite in particular? Yes, absolutely. I think my favorite of the crossovers was the Cyblade She. I think that was a, so much fun, um, and it was great dealing with all these independent characters. But they've all been fun. I mean, you know, I pretty much I've done. Someone said that she was like the most crossed over character of the 20th century, aside from Marvel and DC, with having their character, you know, their characters cross over inside the company um, to, to, you know, for to, to cross with other characters from other companies. And it was just fun. It was like, yeah, you want to do sure, I'll, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have she for that. Why not? Why not? You're going to have she and I crossover. Why not? <laughs> and it was sort of fun because I love the spirit of independent comics and this movement, especially with the creator own, with, with the create creator own crowdfunding movement, be it Indiegogo or Kickstarter. Um, but I love the idea that here's all of us comic creators. And I love to, 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 to add the Curahy moniker to it, which is Cherokee for we stand alone together. And that's really what independent comic publishers are is that we stand alone doing our own books, uh, our own creations, our you know, masters of and mistresses of our own demand, d domains. But then again, we also, we love to help each other out. We have to cross promote one another, have each other on, on our streams. And uh, uh, Old Bean is calling, hang on. Hello, Old Bean. Of course I do. Yes, I saw that. Um, I saw that. Um, it, it's going to drop at like seven, right? Uh, I know, I know. I think it's great. Well, I'm li I'm live right now, Old Bean. So can I call you in a little bit? And and Jay all right, thanks, pal. Bye. Oh well, hang on. I'll put you on speaker so you can say that real quick. Hang on. No, all right. Okay, bye. 
That was J.C. Vaughn, uh, the uh, vice president of Gemstone Publishing and the writer, and yes, he is, of She Gatekeeper, Gatecrasher. And She Gatecra Gatecrasher um, is our May book. If you figure April, get get we'll get our, um, let me turn this off. We'll, we will, let me lower it a little bit, sorry. Yep, yeah, exactly, right, Nefarious? We'll get our um, uh, our omnibus edition. We're going to launch that in March. Uh, get that sucker. Hopefully, printed before the book. Is. Now, if Haikyo does well, if Haikyo does what she did, and I got to be honest, I want to hit six figures with this book. I want this book to do the same as she Return of the Warrior did, if not better. And she Return of the Warrior did a total of over two hundred thousand dollars. If I can do that, if we can make that two hundred thousand dollars, a I can hire. Um, a, a, a a full a, a, a full time part time person if that makes any sense a, a, a part timer and then another full timer that can do our fulfillment and they'll be just devoted to working in the fulfillment center and they will be able to fulfill the, the fill the can fulfill the campaigns if we can hit a hundred and fifty on this campaign if we can do another hundred thousand dollars more in this campaign I, it's very likely that I can print the she. Um, omnibus edition. Maybe I'll make I'll limit it to a thousand copies, and I could print the She Omnibus edition before we even launch the campaign and fulfill that campaign as it's live. So um, and start fulfilling as the campaign is on. Get that bad boy done, and then launch She Gatekeeper in in May. Followed by August will be She Hotaru, which will be the the third act of the trilogy of the Return of the Warrior trilogy, which will be the sequel to this book Haikyo right now. And then, uh, and that'll be for August. And then come October will be Z2, Dorm of the Dead, Zombie Sama 2. I had a great phone conversation with John Broly today. And it is, the story is just fantastic. The story John came up with, and it, it's really all him. I'm just lucky to be along for the ride. And it's just, a, it, it's amazing. So I hope you guys will, back, will, 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 um, will support us. And we're going to start doing, our goal is to do four campaigns a year from here on out. So, yeah, you know, she's coming out nice, isn't she? Let's uh, close out this for a second. Again, guys, thank you so much. I'll refresh it one more time. I don't know if it's going to go, but, man, over 1000 bucks. Look at that. <laughs> so great. Thank you, guys. Each and every one of you, thank you out there. And she thanks you. And she's more like that. And she's... Yeah. I ain't cheap pretty. Hey, Bass Marine, how are you, my friend? Will the campaign stay online until the next campaign launches, like Return of the Warrior? I can't afford to back all the perks. I, I want. Oh, dude, I get it. Um, yes, most likely it will. Um, into February, uh, we will have we will have it live for sure, brother, for sure. Again, you need the dead card, James. Here's here's one of the. One of the proposals for the dead card. So here's Debbie in a bathing suit. And then the she top that my mother had made posing. <laughs> Look how cute she is. Oh, I love it. And I'd love to make a dead, a dead Tucci uh, trading card, cosplay trading card. I don't know technically if it's cosplay, but she was a trooper, my wife. And she still is, I'm sure, if I ask her to, to pose for me now. But I kind of, you kind of get, you kind of. After doing this for so long, you kind of learn, you know, um, how, you know, folds of clothes go. And then, of course, you play with it and you, and you have a little, um, you know, you, you got to stylize things a bit. Because you can't make it look like a photograph. Because who, who would want that then if something looks just like a photograph? Now it is. So I think if I go on at lunch and I draw at lunch, and it could be lunchtime, you know, lunch break with Billy Tucci, I think we can have it, you know, we call it like jazz, afternoon jazz, afternoon drawing and jazz with Billy Tucci. So we can listen to some jazz, maybe some holiday music during, you know, it starting next week, leading into, you know, into Christmas and all and Hanukkah. That'd be a lot of fun. And I'll just sit here and I'll just draw like this. Maybe I'll set my laptop up so you can see me too, but who cares to see me? Let's just look at the, you know, look at the art. 
Now, there's another thing that I like. I love all these little imperfections. I love um, my little gesture lines. I love, like, see, like, things like this. If it's coming through clear enough, my light is good enough. I'm not sure. But I, I like the little mess ups, as long as it's not on the face. So I figured if I got to draw anyway, I might as well bring you guys along with me. We can enjoy it together. Or not enjoy it, because then you could see me flip out when something's not working. This is the part that I get nervous with. Let's get up. Thing is, I made a mistake, and even I do it. I put way too much quilting here. Spray that's a problem. I sprayed it. I can kind of erase it a little bit, then you won't really see it and it won't be so bad. There you go. Okay. Huzzah. You guys can't see what I'm drawing, sorry. I'm drawing that stuff. And this, all this original art will be for sale. It's going to be, it's one complete package. It's, so it's a giant book. I'll show you the book real quick. too much but it's a see it's something like this so this is what the the art is like it's in this book this there's, there's gonna be 52 pages of this art um so it's uh it's cool it's it's a lot of fun really cool stuff you know here's haikyo and um i don't want to give it away but um i will be offering this cover uh along with the 52 pages of original art will all, will be one package, just like it was last time. Uh, when is it, Lloyd? Uh, we're looking at that to long. We're not quite sure, but maybe as early as next Thursday. It depends on how quickly we can build it. Uh, and I have to get the, because it's going to be exclusive. It'll have an exclusive cover. And not saying that exclusive cover won't be available to our Indiegogo backers as a maybe a secret nudge wink wink nudge nudge whatever that is nod nod uh perk but um yeah that that probably earliest thursday if you're on our mailing list uh if you if you are on my mailing list or if you send me your email lloyd if you if you could um i don't know if you could private message me or if you i i earlier i posted my here's my email if you send me your email here's mine hang on let me see 
My email is here. And if you want to send me your email, I'll make sure that you're on the list, on the mailing list. Let's see. Right. I will have uh, next, starting um, in January, uh, we will have um, uh, through our website at billytucci.com. Or if you just email me through my website, Billy, billytucci.com. Um, you will put you on the mailing list and you'll see when we do that, that big launch and that big announcement. I think it's going to be a fun winter. Excellent. Oh, cool. Oh, thank you. I hope you liked it, though, Bass Marine. Thank you, my friend. Oh, man, I would love Kyle Ritter to do a cut. He is amazing. I don't really know him, so I'm going to have to try to, to – to, I don't want to take any work away from, you know, from Ethan's books that he's doing all the coloring to that, but I think he's amazing. I would love him to color something. I think he's one of the best, definitely one of the best in the business for sure. Again, tonight, guys, on the Pop XP, this channel right here, um, we will have Stephen Peros, my, my childhood friend from seventh grade, will be launching Stoker and Wells on Indiegogo. Uh, so we'll have Steve uh, and Barry Orkin, of course, also one of my other best friends from, from junior high and Barry, you might know colored she way, the warrior number one and number two. Uh, and then he moved on to, well, he's an incredible designer. He was kind of slumming for me, doing me a favor. Uh, but he's designed all of our logos. Uh, and he's illustrated, you know, he's the illustrator of Stoker and Wells and they will be on our show starting at 9 PM Eastern time. And that will be followed up by Michael Davis. Um, who would, if those of you know Michael Davis is the founder of Milestone Comics and also uh, the 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 other history of DC Comics about uh, this this amazing thing about uh, what about black superheroes and and people with black superpowers and uh, their fate. Uh, it's really interesting. It's really cool, and uh, he's going to talk all about that. Plus his new. His new uh, endeavors uh, with his partner, Wayne Brady, um, and who may or may not, there's a slight chance that the incredible Wayne Brady will be on our show tonight. Because Michael said, do you mind if I bring Wayne on? And me and I are like, what? Are you kidding me? Heck yeah. So, that's it. I would, you know what, of, of all the things that, that, all the help that Ethan has given us, um, I th I'm going to offer to do a cover for him for nothing for Rainbow Brute if he'd have me or a pinup or a trading card or something, just because uh, he's been a tremendous help to us uh, and, and a great friend. He, he's always been a great friend. And uh, oh shoot, I was supposed to call somebody today. Dang it. Speaking of that, well, I'll get off when I get off in a little bit. I'm going to get off in a few minutes, doing all the little. This is something I would have changed. I would have made her costume flat. I wouldn't have made it the quilt thing. But the quilt thing is, you know, is a cool Asian, you know, pattern. You know, Japanese, Chinese, Korean. And I just thought it looked cool, but it's a pain in the ass to draw. All this, all this bloody quilting. Start working out again this weekend. Can't wait. Hopefully, I'm going to go out there and get that big buck this weekend. Sorry, guys. I know you're not following me because I'm not. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch up and watch some uh, Mandalorian too, and we can talk about it with Councilman Blevins. 
love this music. Reminds me of when I was in my 20s, you know, like she first came out. Because we'd like go to bars and they'd be playing this and just, you know, because now we're in our, you know, we're in our 20s and we have to act sophisticated. It's like, oh, let's go to a jazz bar. Just listen to this and just chill out and talk and drink. Good times. Before we all had all these kids. You think all the, after all this time I'd have a good style guide for she and determine that her quilting should be four inches apart. So. All right. So I'm going to end this, guys. I've been on for an hour and seven minutes. Um, let's see if I can come back and finish this. I think it'll be done by the, by the time I do come back. But um, I want to thank every one of you for joining me tonight. Uh, tonight, please come on later on this evening. Where we'll have uh, our guests, of course, will be Stephen Peros and Barry Orkin as Steve uh, launches Stoker and Wells, Order of the Golden Dawn on Indiegogo. And uh, and then that will be followed at 10 o'clock by the legendary Michael Davis, um, the co-founder of Milestone. And, uh, I mean, what an incredible artist, creator, businessman, um, just all-around great guy. One of the most interesting people you'll ever meet. So thank you, everyone. You guys all have a great, great show. Um, and uh, thank you, Lloyd. Uh, his own book, Star Blades. Yes, yeah, Star Blades is, is going to tell. Star Blades is incredible. That's great. And good for him. He deserves all the success he has. So everyone have a great day, uh, a great night. I hope you guys stay safe. And I will see you all tomorrow. So I'm going to cut off my music for now. Oopsie. All right. And uh, guys, remember, if you guys can, let's go to, to the tab, share. Please back She Haikyo or please share, please pledge. You could uh, share it right here if you click over. Let's see if I can. There you go. You get this little squiggly thing right here. You can share it. It's free. Um, if you guys want, we got a lot of cool perks. Uh, again, Thursday is when we launch the cover I'm working on right now, that whole book, which is the She Haikyo Rough Cut Edition. We've already broken our, down our first three stretch goals. This new stretch goal is getting closer and closer to fall. And uh, we're just going to keep on going, man. And uh, I'll restrain. Uh, oh, we made even more money because we didn't have that 340. Oh, we're at 426. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you all so much. So everyone have a great night. Peace. Look, peace. Well, that's victory. Peace. Love. That's my she coin. Throw she out there. Whatever. She. Everyone have a great, great day. Great night. Good night, everybody. And I'll see you guys in less than three hours on the Pop XP. All right. So let me take you out with the brand. And you guys will have a good, good time. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. That's the intro. Let's not do that. Let's do the end screen. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us on Pop XP. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we go live and we upload some awesome new content. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitter and follow us at the Pop XP and over on Instagram at the Pop XP. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you soon.